My voice matters. I think what I have to say is important. Debate has given me the ability to be like, I have the power for myself. These are the words of Sophia, a 15-year-old high school sophomore from a school on Chicago's west side. Sophia and the other debaters who I studied are theorized to be doubly disadvantaged students. They come from low-income families, and they attend under-resourced neighborhood public schools. But despite the disadvantage that these kids face, participating in competitive interscholastic debate enables them to gain some of the key skills and tools that we know predict success in higher education and careers. I argue that the, school, that the skills and tools that these kids develop come from two key structural components of the debate activity. First, debaters demonstrate self-advocacy skills. And this might seem pretty obvious given the nature of the activity, but they take these skills outside of the debate setting to make real differences in their lives. For example, Sophia talks to her teachers and requests specific instructional strategies to help her learn most effectively. This is a type of instructional ta tailoring that we usually only see among higher income kids. Her teammate Alex also went to his local school council and requested $10,000 for new laptops for the debate team, um, which gives them material resources that allow them to become better learners. Debaters also learn how to demand and adapt to critical feedback. These are kids who are really thirsty for anything that they can get that will help them become better debaters and better learners. They ask coaches, judges, even myself as a researcher, what they can do better, and they really want specific, actionable advice about how to improve. Finally, they have a lot of practice analyzing complex ideas. Again, these are 14 and 15-year-old kids they're reading Foucault, they're asking what is biopower, they're grappling with these big issues that they're gonna have to face when they get to college, and they're learning to learn. They're learning new strategies that they can use whenever they approach a new issue. I argue that the ways that they learn these skills come from two of the key structures of competitive debate. The first is that every debate has a winner and a loser. And so even the kids who win a lot of rounds, they're still losing all the time. And so debaters really have to learn how to be resilient. And as we all know, working in higher education or going into any competitive career field requires you to be pretty comfortable with losing and failure sometimes. There's also a switch side format to competitive debate where in a given uh, competition, debaters will affirm one top, uh, topic in one round and negate the same topic the next round. Using these multiple perspectives, they have to learn how to hold ideas in their head at the same time that contradict each other. And they talk about how this allows them to better understand people, whether it's their parents, their friends, or their teachers. And again, this is gonna pay off when they make it to college and to their careers. Thank you.